Hello, hello, welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. Before we begin, I just want to let everyone know that the coupon codes are now working again on the website. I do have a $20 off promotion if you're interested. In addition, every month I have a featured reading on the website. So for the month of August, I do have a reading called Are Your Exes Over You? So you can choose up to three exes and we're going to take a look and see have they moved on? Are they still holding on? And we'll look a little bit more in detail about that. So if you're interested in booking that reading, all the information will be in the comment section. This pile here, move these over. If you guys chose this crystal, beautiful crystal, overall energy is the Queen of Cups, okay? So this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you're dealing with. This person has a lot of emotion for you. They could be feeling very emotional about you at this moment in time. They got a lot of love for you. Definitely there's an emotional connection here. So let's see. How does this person feel? Oh, they feel a lot for you. Tower. Oh, okay. What happened here? The Ten of Swords. Let's put this in the center here. So we can put four cards across. Okay. The Queen of Cups, the Tower, the, everything is fine. Ten of Swords. And we've got the Seven of Swords. Let's get a few messages from this person. So I'm already feeling like definitely there were some issues in this connection, okay? So things seem to have crumbled between the two of you. Let's get their message. Yeah, we have separation. So you're not with this person. You are separate. So if you are with this person, this is not your reading. Click off. If you are separated, this is probably your reading. Wow, we have I don't know how to let you in. And we have separation. Let's get one more. Pile number one, what is going on with this person that you're dealing with? And we have anxious attachment. Okay. All right, so what happened guys? This situation I think at some point between the two of you was really good. Like with the Queen of Cups, this person, at least I'm reading from their perspective. So this person at, at one point felt like, wow, I'm really connected to this person. I really like this person. I like how I feel around this person. My heart is opening up to this person. And all of a sudden, boom, things fell apart. It could be that this person got triggered. Maybe you got triggered. But it almost feels like it went from so good to so bad so fast. That's what I'm getting. So it could have been unexpected for this person. I think it was actually unexpected for both of you, to be quite honest, because I'm noticing two people falling from this tower. I don't know what happened, but part of me feels like it has something to do with anxious attachment. So it could be that someone's anxiety got the best of them and it could have caused some sort of fear in the connection that potentially separated the two of you. I feel like this person has been trying to give off the impression that they're totally okay that this ended. Okay, because we have everything is fine for the Ten of Swords. So I think this person has been trying to portray to other people or maybe even to you that Everything is fine, they're okay, but the reality is, is that they're not. With the Seven of Swords, this could be this could be sorry, what happened between the two of you is that there could have been some sort of deception. Someone might have been trying to get away with something, or someone maybe wasn't honest with the other person about why the two of you separated. Right now, this person feels like they're really struggling to let you back into their life. So since this separation, it's almost like they don't know how to open up their heart back up to you. I think that this person still has an attachment to you. I think this person has stronger feelings for you than you actually realize, but they don't know how to let you back into their world. I just want to see what happened. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? We have the seven of cups. Someone might have got worried about, I'm getting jealousy someone might have got worried about someone else's options or someone might have felt like the other person had too many options there could have been some sort of jealousy coming through here as well as the seven of cups someone could have got in their head about this connection and sort of started overthinking we have the ace of pentacles as well the other thing that i'm getting um just because right when i saw the seven of cups i was actually drawn to this cup here which has the money in it and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's something to do with money. Sorry, then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Something happened regarding money, whether you realize it or not. I don't know if someone just started becoming insecure about their financial situation. That could be one thing. Or maybe there was like a talk around money or something. There is something to do with money, whether you realize it or not, for this person that actually was triggering for them. There's definitely something around money is what I'm getting. Um, either way, this person 
did have strong feelings. They still do, but they don't know how to let you back in after this kind of separation. It was quite triggering for them and they don't know how to open up again at this point. I feel like they shut down quite strongly. Yeah, we have liar. See, there's something, seven of swords, something happened. This seven of swords is a card of deception. Who lied? Was it you or was it them? Did someone lie about their money potentially? What is going on here? Why is liar here? Why is liar here? Ace of wands, the hanged man. I don't know. I don't know if this person thinks you're a liar or if they were lying. Part of me feels like they may feel like you were lying. And I don't know that you were. This person I think got quite jealous. I think this person got quite jealous. For some reason, I feel like this person was under the impression, and this could be true as well, that you have a lot of options. And I think potentially maybe in the beginning they didn't care, but over time it started to really bother them, all these options. This person might have started getting in their head and thinking like, oh, she's cheating or he's cheating or you know, he's not faithful or she's not faithful, whatever it is. I think this person got in their head and I think they also started thinking, oh, they're going to find someone with more money or whatever it is. I'm just getting like a lot of overthinking. Um, and I think even through the separation, this person has too much time to think. They're almost going down the rabbit hole with this mindset. Okay. But that's what I'm seeing guys for pile number one. So I hope that resonated. Let's move on to pile number two. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below. Keep in mind, these are blunt readings. We're getting straight to the point. Okay. So if you guys chose this crystal here, Overall energy, ooh, three of swords, heartbreak. This person is in pain over you. This person is shedding tears over you. They just heard missed out on my chance. This person feels like they missed out on a chance with you. They're hurt, they're crying. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups, ooh, the knight of cups. I got a lot of love for you, a lot of emotion. Ace of swords, Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming through. What does this person want to say to you? Pile number two. I'm scared of vulnerability. Okay, yeah, definitely a lot of emotion, but they're kind of afraid of this emotion. And we have, I love who I am when I'm with you. One more, let's get one more. I'm unstable. This is emotionally unstable. This person's emotionally unstable. That's why they have a hard time being vulnerable with you. Okay, wow. So one thing that I'm getting, pal, too, is that this person wants to, they, they want to be vulnerable. They do. Like, that's their main intention with you. They might have felt like in the past they did want to be more vulnerable, but maybe they messed up and they weren't able to be. I don't know if this is an argument that you had where you needed this person to show up for you more emotionally and they couldn't. They really want to. This Ace of Swords is telling me that this person wants to be honest and they want to tell you the truth. The truth being that they have feelings for you. They want to be with you. They want to pursue you. But the problem is, is that this person is very up and down emotionally. And maybe you guys already know this from this person. You guys might have already sensed this. Or maybe you kind of have a hunch because they could be hot and cold with you. So at this current moment, they're sort of in a low point. They're heartbroken over something that happened between the two of you, so I don't know if you're with them or not. They're hurt by something that happened. And this person is just really afraid of being vulnerable, even though that's all they want to do. I think the reason why they're afraid of being vulnerable is because they don't want to they don't want you to see how unstable they are emotionally. It almost to them may feel like if I'm vulnerable with this person, I'm gonna become even more volatile. I'm gonna become even more unstable. So they don't want you to see that part of them even though it's there. But this person really does love who they are when they're with you. This person is very emotionally invested in you. They have a lot of romantic feelings. If you're questioning that, they do. Um, you make them happy, okay, you do. But what's interesting is look at the body language of this Nine of Cups. See how she's kind of closed off? This is how this person is with you. They're a bit reserved, they're a bit closed off, but they do care about you. They do wanna be with you. Oh, wow, they're definitely attached to you. Very attracted to you as well, the devil. This person, um, oof, yeah. Oh, this person wants you, for sure. 
Okay, you could have someone who literally low-key is obsessed with you, to be quite honest. They have a heavy attachment to you, but they are just afraid of vulnerability. Um, they, <laughs> okay, Spirit just told me that this person may be kind of crazy. I hate to say that, but they may have a bit of a crazy side. They may be kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Okay, or they just have a crazy side to them. We have, so see, look at this, sorry my feelings have changed. Their, their feelings haven't changed, but what this represents is that this person's emotions are so, they shift. Like from moment to moment, they will change. It's almost like I'm kind of getting like, if you hurt this person, they will shut down. And they might even say to you, I don't care about you anymore. Reality is, is they don't. This is the problem with this person is that they're emotionally unstable. And I feel like they don't want you to see this side of them because they switch a lot. They may have some sort of personality disorder or they may have some sort of mental health problem is what I'm feeling. Um, so sorry, I shouldn't have said crazy, but I did hear that. So they may like say that they're crazy. Like that's something that may, that they actually, they may actually vocalize to you or they may like kind of laugh and joke and say, I have a crazy side, but don't take that lightly because I really think that this person actually does. I just looked up when it was 11, 11. But mainly what I'm getting is they may have some sort of mental health problems. They may have a hard time stabilizing their emotions. So the feelings are there. The problem is, can they be emotionally available and emotionally stable for you? That's the big question, because I don't know if that is, that's not really coming through in the reading. That they can be. But they are very invested in you and they do have strong feelings. And very, very, very attracted to you as well. I would even go as far as to say that this person could be obsessed with you. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for pile number two. So let's move on. If you guys want to book a personal reading, my information is down below. If you guys chose this crystal here, overall energy, how this person feels is the magician. Ooh, okay, so I'm getting like muse energy. You could be inspiring this person. This person could be trying to manifest you. Maybe you're trying to manifest them and it's working. Let's see. We've got the nine of wands. We have the world. And we have the knight of swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. For some of you, the message that I just heard is if you're trying to manifest this person that you're getting a reading on, communication is coming in very soon. Some of you might have dealt with this person in the past and they were kind of guarded. Maybe they were sort of um, distant, closed off. You have someone who's about to rush in. I'm getting someone is manifesting communication. Whether they're trying to manifest communication with you or you're trying to manifest communication, whatever, it doesn't matter who's manifesting it, it's coming in. Communication is coming in quickly. It could be through social media, actually. Someone may get a message through social media, is what I'm hearing. What's the message here? We have, I told the karmic about you. So this person could be involved in a karmic situation. This person knows about it, this other person. I'm scared you will lose interest in me. And last message is, oh, sticky. We have, you make me feel safe. So this person right now is kind of comparing you to whoever they're with or to whoever they're connected to. There's some sort of karmic energy, could be karmic partner, could be someone they're involved with. Um, they're, I'm getting a comparison energy, like they're comparing you to this other person and to the point where they're so unhappy in this other situation that they're actually starting to tell this person about you and saying like, I don't listen, like I have stronger feelings for pile three. So that's what I'm getting. Like expect communication. If you haven't heard from this person, this person is going to be rushing in with communication. For some of you, again, the message is like, you've been trying to manifest this communication is what I'm hearing. Um, this person loves that you make them feel safe. This to me feels like the type of person who it takes a while to like break down their walls, but when you do, it's like you have a person for life. So you are slowly but surely breaking down this person's walls. They love how they feel around you. They feel safe around you. And I feel like this person um, is really seeing you as the whole package, okay? They may need to close out a cycle in their life until they're before they're ready for this. 
Um, and I think there's a fear that by the time they close out this cycle, are you going to lose interest? But I think in general, there's just a fear that if they show you their full investment, will you then lose interest? I think there's a part of this person that's worried that maybe you're interested in them because they're kind of like elusive at this point, especially if they're involved with someone else. They may worry that you're only interested because they're kind of unavailable. But yeah, look at this. The lovers just fell out. Gemini energy. This person has very strong feelings for you. Very strong. I'm also getting that this person is telling this other person how they feel. Like, even if they're in a relationship, they're telling this person. They're saying like, look, I know this other person and I have stronger feelings for this other person. I feel like they're not holding anything back at this point. Let's see. Yeah, they're saying, so we have, is it too late? Again, there's something about like, that's what I was just saying. There's something about timing in the sense that I feel like this person needs to close out something with this other person first and they want to make sure that it's not too late or maybe they just closed out something and they're like, oh shoot, I hope it's not too late. I hope I can, you know, keep the door open with pile three and make something happen. So they've been seeing your name everywhere as well. Again, there's something about manifestation. So there's a message. If you've been trying to manifest this person, it's been working. They've been seeing your name. They've been thinking about you a lot. They're leaving someone else for you, I feel, pile three. If it's not a person, they're leaving a situation that might have been blocking them from coming towards you, like a job, a friendship, whatever it is. They're leaving whatever situation was getting in the way of the two of you. I think they may need some time to close this out, or maybe they did need time and that's why they've been taking a while. But I'm seeing here the Knight of Swords, I'm just hearing like expect communication. Someone from your past is returning, Six of Cups. They were in their head in the past, they couldn't in the past. This person was like um, stagnant in the past. They were in their head, they felt stuck, they're not anymore. This person's coming out of this energy, expect communication, it's someone from your past, okay? So that's what I'm seeing, pile number three. So I hope that this was helpful. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, like I said, there's some available spots for the promotion, which is in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you guys absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.